Marjorie Taylor Greene is known for her wild, wild conspiracy theories, and you get kind of accustomed to it. I am constantly seeing the latest Marjorie Taylor Greene wild, wacko idea, and it doesn't really faze me. But this one actually got me, and I do think it represents this absolute frantic effort by right-wingers who are against gun control. Every time a tragedy relating to our lack of gun control, and but what I mean by that is, of course, if we had better restrictions, better laws, better regulations around guns, likely a lot of these tragedies wouldn't happen. And so I think what we're about to watch is not only enraging and not only notable because this is a congresswoman saying absolute absurd statements and leading her followers down a dangerous road, but it also shows us what people have to do whenever they are in a mad dash to avoid the obvious answers and the obvious facts in relation to a situation like this. So let me show you the clip I'm talking about and then we'll discuss. Now, here's what I have to say. I mean, two shootings on July 4th, one in a rich white neighborhood. So, of course, she's responding to the July 4th weekend where we saw two shootings and the mass shooting that we covered on the show uh, in Highland Park where seven people died. That's what she's responding to in this. And the other at a fireworks display almost sounds like it's designed to persuade Republicans to go along with more gun control. I mean, after all, remember, we didn't see that happen at all the pride parades in the month of June, but as soon as we hit MAGA month, as soon as we hit the month that we're all celebrating. So, okay, what is happening? What are you talking about? First of all, there were tons of shootings during pride month. Second of all, MAGA month being 4th of July month, that doesn't make any sense, being July, what? And also insinuating, as she's about to say even clearly in a second here, that because the shootings happen in particular places that might shock Republicans, it might be some plot, some purposeful act by those in power to try to enact gun control. Writing, loving our country, we have shootings on July 4th. I mean, that's, oh, you know... That would sound like a conspiracy theory, right? Of course. But what's the definition of a right wing? Is she okay? What is wrong with, what is literally what is wrong with her right now? It's like she's in a movie pretending to be clinically insane. Conspiracy theory. Well, by the way, it's the news that's just six months early. Okay, we got to watch that one more time to absorb what the heck she's talking about. So a congresswoman is responding to devastation, mass shootings. We know the individuals who carried them out. We know in the case of Illinois, much of the lead up in this uh, young man's life to the day that we all witnessed uh, over the weekend. And she's coming up with some harebrained, absolute, absurd, insane theory about how, oh, this is some effort to convince people into wanting and supporting gun control. Let's watch it one more time. Now, Here's what I have to say. I mean, two shootings on July 4th, one in a rich white neighborhood and the other at a fireworks display. It almost sounds like it's designed to persuade Republicans to go along with more gun control. I mean, after all, remember, we didn't see that happen at all the pride parades in the month of June. But as soon as we hit MAGA month, as soon as we hit the month that we're all celebrating, loving our country, we have shootings on July 4th. I mean, that's, oh, you know, that would sound like a conspiracy theory, right? Of course. But what's the definition of a right-wing conspiracy theory? Well, by the way, it's the news that's just six months early. Now I know my whole purpose of doing a show like this is to respond to the news, is to give my take on stuff like this, but I honestly don't know what to say that wouldn't just be outrageously horrible and offensive when watching a clip like that. But what she said was outrageous and offensive. What she said is absolutely taking all of the seriousness, all of the emotion out of the murder of multiple people to make a completely detached from reality point and to convey a theory that is not grounded in any of the facts of the situation. Instead of being serious, instead of being a congresswoman as we would hope they would be and saying wow a tragedy happened in this country i'm someone who's 
responsible for coming up with solutions when tragedies like this happen, and here is what I think we should do. No, instead, it is, I'm going to pretend that pro-gun control people conducted Obviously, she didn't specifically say all this, but this is what she was alluding to by pretending it was some intentional event by more than just that one individual. So pro-gun control people are doing these false flags events to convince uh, the population into being okay with gun control. And again, this is what we're seeing from so many on the right these days. It's like, I don't want to have to deal with the reality that our messed up system when it comes to guns is leading to the death of innocent people. I don't want to have to square that. I don't want to have to come to terms with the fact that my ideology and the politicians that I support are leading, not directly, but because of their lack of action to people dying. And so instead, I want to watch people who will tell me it's the bad, evil people who are making this all happen because they want to take my guns away. That's what's happening. I can't think of it any other way. A congresswoman. I mean, that means nothing these days, honestly. It should. I'm not saying that uh, the people in power, it's not important who those individuals are. It absolutely is. They should be serious. They should be educated on these issues and all of those things. But it doesn't really hold any weight anymore to be like, she's a congresswoman. Yeah, we, there's tons of crazy people in Congress these days. And she is one of the most prominent people on the right, raises tons of money, has tons of popularity because she spouts off nonsense like this. She completely tries, tries to take away the legitimacy of the heartbreak and the damage and the pain that was caused by these mass shootings by making it into some Silly conspiracy theory. If she can get her audience to think about anything other than the fact that she's not acting to protect American citizens, then she's done her job. It's disgusting. I really do do my best. If y'all watch most of my show, if you understand the way that I like to format coverage of different events, I really do my best to put everyone in a human context. Everyone is human is what I try my best to believe that everyone has a heart somewhere in there and they were misled and misinformed and whatever. I don't know how to believe that someone like Marjorie Taylor Greene has a heart when I watch her try to claim such an absurd, insane, detached from reality thing in the aftermath of a tragedy like this. I really don't. Like, how do you go to sleep at night? How do you Walk around in the world knowing that you are actively trying to misinform your audience, actively trying to spin conspiracy theories to distract everyone that you can from the reality of the situation that we're in right now, which is that we have countless unnecessary massacres happening on a daily basis. How do you live with that as an individual? You were voted through our democratic system into power to represent people. And you're using that power and authority that was given to you to represent your constituents to turn around and continue misinforming them, to continue making them so detached from reality that they can't possibly interface with this world in any meaningful way. So on this, I try to sometimes end in some sort of hopeful, mo uh, hopeful note, but this is the far right in America right here. Instead of analyzing the facts of these heartbreaking tragedies and saying, how can we prevent like things like this in the future? No. Instead, we're going to pretend like it was some plot by those crazy liberals to take your guns. It's heartbreaking. It's disgusting. And that's really all I can say on it.